let me try another angle on potential pessimism and see if you can talk me down out of that tree. Yeah. I'm sure you've thought about the Fermi paradox. Mm -hmm. There are more and more potentially habitable planets out there, and yet no one is showing up to visit us or sending us signals or constructing glamorous advertisements up there in the stars by manipulating matter. The universe seems oddly quiet, at least our corner of it. Now, that's not a surprise if you think that civilizations tend to destroy themselves once energy becomes cheap enough. Uh, but otherwise, if one is relatively optimistic as a default, where are they, to pose Fermi's question to you? Yeah, uh, I, I don't think there's a natural arc toward destruction of civilizations. And in fact, one could make the argument that it the, goes the other, other direction, that uh, as you become more uh, advanced, uh, civilizations develop mechanisms that make conflict less likely. Uh, uh, which I think is the trajectory we have gone on so far. Again, I'm not willing to prophesy that it'll continue. But, uh, you know, war is a pretty stupid thing to do. I mean, you blow a lot of stuff up, you kill people, and uh, you don't end up with anything that you couldn't have gotten by some other means. As soon as you become too belligerent, you give other people an incentive to destroy you. S that may not be avoidable in a Hobbes in Hobbesian anarchy, but if you can have some kind of, uh, of system either of world government or of a functional equivalent like international norms and the United Nations and a set of expectations, then everyone can live a lot better uh, if, you don't, if you aren't all living by the sword. It's just as plausible to me that as civilizations advance, rather than getting, having more and more destructive wars, they could continue the trend that we've been on since World War II and they uh, eventually make war obsolete. Uh, that's uh, another plausible trajectory. And indeed, the idea that um, the worst aspects of this particular primate, namely we evolved in, a, in such a way that we are you know, too quick to anger, we're too quick to uh, uh, defend our dominance, that that's the only way for intelligence to evolve, I think is, is parochial. It's saying that what we see in, in Homo sapiens is the only way that uh, intelligent beings can come into existence. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think we should be constrained by that.